Hey guys, um, I haven't done any videos in a long time, so I have a lot of books that I got for Christmas and everything, so I decided I'll share with you guys. Um, this one I didn't actually get. I'm borrowing this from my sister. She's visiting. Um, so I'm in the middle of reading it right now. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I'm about, like, halfway through. Right there. Yeah, um, I'm liking it so far. It's like, how would I describe this book? This book is kind of like a fantasy, kind of like adventure for like kids. So, because it's all about kids. I think the oldest is like 16. I don't know the main character is 16. Um, it has like old photographs in it, which I like looking at. I think it's really cool. One second. Um, oh, okay. No, this is not going to watch them. Oh. It's going to talk in a minute. I'm going to talk one more time. Okay, now it's done. Hey! Oh, my dog's going crazy. Okay. Um, so, it has the creepy old photographs. On the back, it just it kind of shows some. I've gone through all of these pictures. Um... I'm enjoying it. It's not scary. It's not a scary book. I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. It's going to be like really scary. It's not scary. It's just a fantasy kind of. But it's kind of creepy with the pictures. And there's like some like little creepy parts. But it's not overall. Like so it's scary though. So I'm enjoying this. Um, I'm hopefully going to finish it in like a few days. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Then I got this book when I went down to visit my grandma. She got it for me because I wanted to read a book when I was down there and shatter me. I actually finished reading this one, so I will be doing a review on that in like two seconds. Um, yeah, shatter me. I'm going to talk about this one in the video, in the review video, which I have a lot to say about this. Um, then books I got for Christmas. My dad got me three books off of Amazon that I had on kind of like a wish list. He picked like random ones. These are the ones he randomly picked for me. Um, the Dark Inside by Jen Roberts. Um, this book, I think it's like a zombie kind of book, like Apocalypse, like Trying to Survive, which I enjoy those books. So I'm excited for this. Um, it sounded really interesting. Um, it's about like, I think four teenagers. And I don't, I don't think that they're just like put together to try to live. Yeah, for, for four teens struggling to stay alive in a world determined to kill them, it all means, it means all they have is one another, if they can trust one another. So yeah. I think it's just going to be an exciting adventure book. That's just all I'm hoping for. Like, I don't, I'm not expecting this book to be, like, profound, so. But, we'll see. Um, and I'm excited for this one. It's The Dust of 100 Dogs by A.S. King. I, she... A.S. King wrote Please Ignore Very Deeds, and I absolutely love that book, so I'm excited to read her other work. Um, this one, a lot of people who read it like really liked it, so I'm excited to read it. It's kind of funny what it's about. <laughs> it's like funny as in kind of strange, and it's very unique. It's about a girl who was a pirate in like the 17th century, then she was like killed and cursed to live 100 lifetimes as a dog, so she does that, and then it starts off with her like being like a contemporary teenager, so she's like, so she was a pirate, lived a hundred lifetimes as a dog, and now she's like, has to live again, and she's like, wants to go find her treasure, and it just sounds really entertaining, so I've heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited to read this, and this book, I don't really know what this one's about, I just really like the cover, <laughs> it's called I'll Be There by Holly Gold. Holly Goldberg Sloan. I have no idea who this author is. Okay. I have no idea why this is black and white. But you can't really see. It's just like very colorful. <laughs> I accidentally put my camera in black and white. Um, but like this is like all blue. Then it goes like kind of like a sunset type thing. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, I think it's just about like three kids. I think two of them are like teenagers. Like Sam Border, Riddle Border is his younger brother. And then Emily Bell, who like they meet. And it's just kind of about... It says, 
everyone whose path you cross in life has the power to change you, sometimes in small ways and sometimes in greater than you, sometimes in ways greater than you could have ever known. Um, yeah, that's what it's about. I've heard really, really good things about it, so I'm excited to read it. You know, I didn't really know what it's about, I just like the cover, but <laughs> I'm excited to read it. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for Christmas. I have so many books I need to read, so I didn't ask for too many. Yeah, so that's all I got. I wanted to get Peeps by Scott Westerfield. I went to Barnes & Noble, like, held it in my hands, and then I went to go check it out, and the line was, like, a million people long, so I was like, just set it back down a long time. I was like, whatever. I'll get it sometime else. And then I went to, like, a bunch of used bookstores to try to get Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, because I don't want to pay that much for it, because my sister read Everything is Illuminated, didn't like it. Um, like, she didn't like the way it was written. So I was like, I don't know if I'll like it then. So she didn't read Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. But I want to read that one because I think it looks better. Mostly because I just saw the trailer and I was like, yeah, that looks better. But like reading it. But yeah, so. Yep, that's it for all the books I've gotten. And if you guys want to let me know what you got for Christmas or any books you think I'd like. I, I love recommendations. If you have any opinions on the books I got, I'd love to know them. Yeah. Bye, guys.